How to develop your power of concentration. Concentration finds the way everyone has two natures. One wants us to advance and the other wants to pull us back. The one that we cultivate and concentrate on decides what we are at the end. Both natures are trying to gain control. The will alone decides the issue. A man by one supreme effort of the will may change his whole career and almost accomplish miracles. You may be that man. You can be if you will to be, for will can find a way or make one. I could easily fill a book, of cases where men plodding along in a matter-of-fact way, were all at once aroused and as if awakening from a slumber they developed the possibilities within them and from that time on were different persons. You alone can decide when the turning point will come. It is a matter of choice whether we allow our diviner self to control us or whether we will be controlled by the brute within us. No man has to do anything he does not want to do. He is therefore the director of his life if he wills to be. What we are to do, is the result of our training. We are like putty, and can be completely controlled by our willpower. Habit is a matter of acquirement. You hear people say, he comes by this or that naturally, a chip off the old block, meaning that he is only doing what his parents did. This is quite often the case, but there is no reason for it, for a person can break a habit just the moment he masters the I will. A man may have been a good for nothing all his life up to this very minute, but from this time on he begins to amount to something. Even old men have suddenly changed and accomplished wonders. I lost my opportunity, says one. That may be true, but by sheer force of will, we can find a way to bring us another opportunity. There is no truth in the saying that opportunity knocks at our door but once in a lifetime. The fact is, opportunity never seeks us, we must seek it. What usually turns out to be one man's opportunity, was another man's loss. In this day one man's brain is matched against another's. It is often the quickness of brain action that determines the result. One man thinks, I will do it, but while he procrastinates the other goes ahead and does the work. They both have the same opportunity. The one will complain of his lost chance. But it should teach him a lesson, and it will, if he is seeking the path that leads to success. Many persons read good books, but say they do not get much good out of them. They do not realize that all any book or any lesson course can do is to awaken them to their possibilities, to stimulate them to use their willpower. You may teach a person from now until doomsday, but that person will only know what he learns himself. You can lead him to the fountain, but you can't make him drink. One of the most beneficial practices I know of is that of looking for the good in everyone and everything, for there is good in all things. We encourage a person by seeing his good qualities and we also help ourselves by looking for them. We gain their good wishes, a most valuable asset sometimes. This video is promotional purposed only and it's about the e-book called, How to Develop Your Power of Concentration, by Wings of Success. You will find more contents on the book. If you like to download this absolutely free e-book please click the link on the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button.